Emil, the first thing I noticed when I came back to school, and you came back, I guess, your hair now, the hair in the back. Where does where does that come from, and, and why did you decide to go along with it? I just saw a lot of people wearing a ha long, long hair, and uh, I was really curious to, s to see how it's going to look at me. Yeah, how do you like it? You must like it. I do yeah. like it. I do like it. I was really about to cut it a couple weeks ago, but I couldn't. I was, <laughs> I was in the car towards the barbershop, but I could not do that. Really? You're yeah. actually in the car going? Yeah, and I could not mm. do it, and I came back. So, yeah, I kind of like it, though. You know, do you remember the, the player from Indianapolis that had kind of the ponytail? He was a good player. I can't remember his name, but... Yeah, he had a really long one. Yeah, he had a really long one, yeah. I bet there's at least seven years of growing the hair, but... Seven years? At least. Wow. I mean, that, that guy was really tall. Yeah, and his and good. hair went all the way to the yeah blow back. So. Yeah, yeah. So we're not going there. No. Okay. I'm um, keeping it nice, nice and clean. <laughs> Last night against Missouri Western, uh, Tim Crone and I doing the game on on the video. We were amazed at how much you have improved since the first time we saw you to now, and especially the jump from last year to this year. Your hands were good. You look confident on the floor. Everything. You have obviously worked extremely hard to get better at basketball. Can you tell us what that process has been like? First of all, I think it helped me a lot that over the summer I played for national team. So I was staying in shape and I was practicing actually till mid of July. I will say beginning of July, sorry, not mid of July. And the idea that I was starting center for national team kind of increased my confidence. Okay. And as everybody have been tell telling me before, but I never believed them, it's all mental. You think? Really? Yeah. yeah, I got more confident and I believe I can do some stuff now. That's why my hands got improved. Yeah. I can catch the ball now, finally. Well, a bit I hope it's going to go like this all, all season, but yeah. Well, I, and I don't mean to make you feel bad because you're a contributing player, but you have just taken it up to another level yeah, this I year. Agree, I after agree. small sample size, but after one game, you just look so much more confident. Maybe that's the mental thing you're talking about. Yeah, I think that's one of the reasons, that's the main reason. Right. Which national team would you play for? Republic of Moldova. Moldova, okay, and where did you play? We actually host the tournament. It's a European Championship Division C, which is okay. specific for small countries. Okay. Yeah, we don't really have a budget and professional players. Sure. Yeah, so, sure. Uh, we played against small countries like Andorra, Wales, San Marino, like European small countries. You can barely see them on the map. Right. Moldova is one of the biggest, actually. Right. And, uh, yeah, we lost our first game to Azerbaijan who actually won it, won the title, and they had an American player who played for War Forward University. Okay. Right. He's playing now in Europe. He got, two years ago, he got the best defender of EuroLeague. Oh, wow. Yeah, I cannot recall his name, unfortunately. Well, sorry, right. sorry for that, but yeah. Well, I can't uh, remember the guy at Indianapolis's name, so yeah. and that was he just helped, a year ago. Yeah, he helped that guy a lot, and I think that playing against that guy, against that level, Helped me boost my confidence a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When you came to the United States uh, as a student, uh, you had told me before that it was difficult making translations, schoolwork in your head, hearing the terminology, making translations. So since that point, has it gotten any easier? It did a little bit, but I'm still struggling. I, uh, you know, this summer was beneficial and not really in the same time. Okay. Hmm. How I said had. A lot of good stuff. I've seen my family, I've seen my country, I've seen my place. And I you need to do sad. that. Yeah, but at the same time, I kind of miss them. I kind of want to go bad, but at the same time, I do not want to be there. Right. So I'm looking for some ways around to create my life, to put right. stuff together. But at the same time, I do miss home now. Sure. Even more than last year. I can and, and that's bad. Yeah. yeah. Because uh, now I'm watching more TV shows in Russian, I'm watching more news in Russian. And my head is getting really messed up. Oh, uh, really? Okay. Yeah. I right. had to write a paper recently and I really struggled. I'll be darned, really. Yeah, because I was putting the stuff together in Russian and trying to translate it in English. And that's uh, obviously the that's national the language? Yeah, because I. It's not national language, but this is my first language, I'll okay. say. Put okay. it this way. And. That's a big struggle because in my sophomore year, I finally get rid of this. Mm -hmm. I start thinking in English and writing in English, but now I kind of step back to it, so I have to do some improvement on that one. But. Okay. How about uh, the idea that uh, you are going to graduate, I think, in a year from this spring? E economics still your field? Yes. What do you want to do in economics? That's a good question. I don't know. 
So what are the what are the choices then? Maybe let's go that way. Um, I'm trying to get an internship this summer, and we'll see how the internship is going to influence my choices. If I'm going to like it or not, I'm going to try to get into the field. Right. And go from there because honestly I have no idea what I want to do with my yeah. like with my major so okay. far. Let's go back to basketball for a moment sure. and uh, Tim Crone again and I were talking about your improvement but I'm going to tell people as I did last night on the air that you may be the hardest working jewel student we have because folks not only does he play basketball train for basketball but he obviously is a student economics is not easy but you work at a various uh, number of campus jobs i've seen you out at 6 37 in the morning working i know you've worked in the, in the cafeteria uh w w why do you work that hard too tough a question it's a complicated question yeah but Trying to self-sustain, probably. Right. Yeah. Still have to pay the bills, and the economical position of my country right now is not the greatest, and my family cannot fully support me. Right. So. Well, yeah. do you do you look at, at, at maybe other Jewel students and say, wow, I, you know, that person really has it easy. What are they complaining about? You know, what are they whining about? And then look at all the time you put in. I did. I don't do it anymore. Gets me laid off laid back and I right. don't like it. Right. Okay. Yeah. Well that's a great answer. Yeah, but I did. I did a lot. And yeah. I was thinking like why can they they do whatever they want to and not work and I have to work. Right. But again I know that it's easier for me to self sustain than my family get out of their way and help me out financially. Right. So right. The experience of doing that. I would imagine you have to grow up in a hurry. Like you said, you've changed your attitude about several things, but growing up overseas, basically, becoming a man overseas, it's got to be hard. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I have a good answer. Yeah, I mean, it should be hard, but it's kind of, in my mind, is like it's supposed to be that way. Okay. So, I don't know. Right. It's supposed right. to be that way. Okay, now I'm going to make it, maybe this is a little easier question, but the, all the turmoil surrounding the United States election of their president, did you pay any attention to that? I did. I and, did a little and, bit. What's your, kind of, what's your take on all of that from, from a, a person that has not grown up in the United States? How do you view Americans at this point? I hope not to offend anyone, but you guys have a lot of problems. Yeah. Well, I think everybody, I think that's where that campaign started. Everybody knows there are problems. What about the reaction to Donald Trump being being elected and, and all the negative reaction. Does that surprise you? Honestly, half a joke, half reality, but I check my luggage if it's if, <laughs> if, if it's still good, if I need to buy a new luggage or something. So you're saying it worries you a little bit? A little bit. Wow. You know, I've, I've heard that, and, uh, uh, and I guess that's a real thing. You know, somebody like me doesn't quite know what that's like. It's, it's interesting because, I mean, I'm, God, people made the choice, and I have to respect the choice, mm -hmm. especially since I'm a foreigner, I'm a visitor, basically. But in the same time, in my opinion, I'm not agree with whatever they chose. Right. But in the same time, it's not like the the choice is like you didn't really have what to choose from. Right. So I have a feeling you're going to be okay. I, I just I don't know that for a fact. Yeah, I'm no, no that's expert. That was a joke. But, but you can always come live with me. I'll, I'll take care of you. I got your back. Right. Um, but again, let's go back to basketball for a sure. little bit. This team, laden with seniors especially, what do you think is going to happen with this team? How good can it be? Because you looked awful good against Western. We should be good. We have to be good. We have no other choice. Why? First of all, it's an all team. It's a veteran team. And we play together for, this is second year now. Mm -hmm. We kind of know where to go and what to do and what everybody's capable of. So we can use everybody's strength on the floor. But in the same time, we're still struggling with some small periods of time when we getting loose. They, mm -hmm. We let other teams run on us. And we have to fix that point. But overall, I think that this team should go far further at least than last year and the year before. Yeah, yeah. Well, we will hope for that because it was fun against Missouri Western. Thank you so much for taking the time to come and visit. I loved your views on stuff. And uh, and like I said, you are the hardest working guy I know on campus. So, uh, And an inspiration to a lot of people, first of all, me. So thank you yeah. for all of that. Thank you for inviting me. Emilos Fachuk has been our guest here, and we'll be back with more on the High V Halftime Report in a moment.